Hey, how are you? Well, I wonder if you saw the B video I made uh, yesterday, I guess. I shot it on Sunday and I put it up yesterday. It's just kind of a fun little video and I'll talk a bit about that. But I just want to bring you up to speed with the vanity. Um, I haven't done much to it. I did finish the inside. I'm using polyacrylic for the inside of the vanity. And it's the same finish that I used on the cabinet for my table saw. I think it holds up pretty good uh, and it dries really fast. It's easy to work with. I apply it with a foam roller and then brush it in the direction of the grain with a foam brush. I also thought that I should point out, whenever I hang doors, the last thing I do is cut a five degree angle from the outside to the inside of the door. And that's so the doors don't get hung up on each other when they open and close. So this is one set of the doors. And this is the angle that I'm referring to, starting at zero from the front of the door and cutting back at five degrees. I also thought it was important to mention that one of the first things I do when I construct the cabinet and it's freestanding is to put domes on the legs and that's so the cabinet can be pushed around without damaging the legs or the bottom of the cabinet. Now this cabinet has metal domes on it right now but I will be replacing those because this cabinet's going in the bathroom and I wouldn't want the metal domes to rust. I only had these metal domes in the shop when I was building the cabinet so I'll have to replace these with nylon domes before I deliver it. These are the cherry boards that I'm going to build the top of the vanity with and I'll start working on that later today. I hope to finish this by Friday. If not, I'm shooting for Saturday to make the top, sand it and cut the hole in for the sink and then I'll probably do another video on finishing the top. Uh, now about the, the B video, basically that just sort of happened in the spur of the moment. My daughter was asking me about the bees and I told her that I would attach a tiny GoPro to the bees so she could see what they do, you know, just teasing with her. And so I made that video and I used a GoPro. My son Walter is a surfer, or all the boys surf, but he had just come home from surfing and he had his GoPro. So I asked him for some help and we got all the high shots using uh, an extension pole for a window washer. And uh, so he was holding the pole when I was cutting the lawn there. And then inside the hive, I just held the GoPro in the hive. And then to get all of the sound effects, I put a microphone on my phone and held that in the hive and around the hive and, and then just spliced it all together in editing on iMovie. Now a lot of people have been wondering about the bees and so far everything's working out great and it's a lot of fun. I go out and I check on them pretty regularly. Uh, they're not eating that much of the sugar syrup I made and I think that's because it's summer and they're just getting so much nectar but uh, I do check on it and they seem you know healthy and strong and they're building the the hive out. I think they're 10 bars out now and I think basically what they do is they build a brood comb and that's where the the queen will lay the eggs and that will be basically the nest and then after they establish enough of a brood then they start to build the honeycomb which is a little bit wider and that's to store honey so they have something to eat during the winter. Uh, there's all kinds of interesting things and I'll just keep sort of going over things as as we visit the nest and I think or not the nest, the hive. I think in maybe a week or two, I'll put the bee suit on and we'll go and see if we can find the queen and, and maybe by then we'll have a little bit of honey. Now that's the other thing, you can't just go and take all their honey because then they'll have nothing to eat. And in fact, some people don't harvest any honey the first year. So these are all things, you know, in another couple of weeks I'll know that much more. Uh, this is a piece of honeycomb that I had to cut off of one of the bars and that's because you get something called a cross comb and that's where the, the bees build off to one side or the other and then that creates a problem because the comb, the, the bars don't just lift out of the nest and hopefully that won't continue to happen but uh, I'll bring the camera and we'll take a closer look at this. Everything seems to be going well. I would imagine I will get a little bit of honey if everything uh, keeps going the way it is. Now I've been giving a piece of artwork away on my website every week. Uh, this is something I started two weeks ago and basically it's like a study that I do for a project. So a few weeks ago I painted a gold Marilyn on the bottom of a skateboard with gold leaf and that study will be in a way this week. So if you want to know more about that just go to johnpeters.com or Facebook and um, you can enter for a chance to win. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully by Friday I'll finish the vanity top and I'll have a video up and I'll see you then. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, a lot of people were wondering why would you wear a respirator when you're cutting the lawn? Well, generally I wear a dust mask but I couldn't find my dust mask so 
a respirator works good enough. Uh, but I do wear some kind of mask when I'm cutting the lawn. I don't want to breathe all of that stuff in. In fact, even when my kids cut the lawn, I make them wear a mask. I, I know most people don't wear a mask, but I think it's a good idea.